I don't know if this is for you. Ring video captures. Oh, that's the Sun Brito. That's the Sun Brito, man. This is Sun Brito, man. There ain't no whole Sun, man. That's a Sun Brito, man. That might be a hole on Brito, man. What is this right here, man? I don't know if this is for you. Ring video captures a homeowner's quick thinking during an attempted armed robbery at their front door. The video was taken at about 9.45 a.m. on Friday, April 14th. It shows a suspect approach the front door of a home in East Haven, Connecticut, dressed as a delivery driver with a package. When someone comes to answer the door, the suspect keeps up the act, saying the package may be for them. I don't know if this is for you. Video then shows the suspect rush the homeowner before being pushed back out of the doorway. The suspect can be seen in the video holding a gun. After that, he runs off to a nearby vehicle that quickly speeds away. About an hour after the attempted robbery and home invasion, the East Haven Police Department posted pictures of the suspect on its Facebook page, asking for the public's help identifying him. Investigators say a series of tips led them to... Well, that's an ombrito, man. That's an that's ombrito. See, George Floyd was better at this, man. This is what Floyd used to do, man. How many of y'all know that this is what Floyd used to do? This was Floyd's um this was Floyd's um thing, man. This was Floyd's move, man. Floyd used to dress up like he was with the water department, man. And go rob people, man. This was this was this was Floyd's um this was Floyd's move, man. Yeah, that's what he was. Um, that's what he was in jail for before he moved to mini before he moved to Minneapolis, man. This is Floyd's mo, man. His modus operandi, man. This is his. That was his, that was his, that's, that was Floyd's modus operandi, man. Yeah, man. Salute to Op Nation Hall of Famer C A, man. Bonus time at work. Buy Op Junior something nice. <laughs> yeah, man. Salute to you. Salute to everybody at work, man. Oh, great show for you guys tonight. Yeah, this guy, he 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 wasn't good. I think this guy, I think he could have actually succeeded if he was better. He just like, man, I think they're for you. <laughs> what was that? I think they're for you. And it's uh, like he was. This dude was. This dude, this dude, but he, he 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 sucks at this, man. I think a a, a person, somebody who was real, who was good at this and has good timing and good, you know, verbiage. It could be like, like how how you doing, sir? Um, this package, blah, 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 blah. you know. See, I I did canvassing, man. I knocked on, I've knocked on thousands of doors, man. When I was doing outdoor sales, man, for the home improvement company, man. Um, I did knocked on thousands of doors, man. Um, so. This. Somebody who's a canvasser could, could could do this really well, man. Because you know how to engage the person. Hey, how you doing, sir? Um, we're just in the neighborhood returning packages. Um, your package happened to slip through the pet um slip through the seat and you know, on one of our um trucks, and we just coming around returning it to you. Um, if you could just sign right here, um Soon as he put his guard down, put the gun in his face, push him in the house, or something like that. You know, how you doing, sir? Um, I'm with such and such. I'm with um, I'm with Liquidator Auto. <laughs> Make up some shit. I'm with Liquidator Auto Financing, and um, <laughs> make up some shit. This guy sucks, though. I don't know. This is for you. Like your profile. 
Ring video captures a homeowner's quick thinking during an attempted armed robbery at their front door. The video was taken at about 9.45 a.m. on Friday, April 14th. It shows a suspect approach the front door of a home in East Haven, Connecticut, dressed as a delivery driver with a package. When someone comes to answer the door, the suspect keeps up the act, saying the package may be for them. I don't think this is for you. Video then shows the suspect rush the homeowner before being pushed back out of the doorway. The suspect can be seen in the video holding a gun. After that, he runs off to a nearby vehicle that quickly speeds away. About an hour after the attempted robbery and home invasion, the East Haven Police Department posted- Somebody said he could have become a real Amazon delivery driver with less effort. And although that's funny, man, I don't think you guys get it, man. I'm not, and, I'm, and I'm sure you're just joking. But for anybody who would post a comment like that, seriously, it's not like that. It's not get a job or do this. It's not. He's not doing this because he can't get a job. He's doing this because this is what he wants to do. He's a fucking criminal. Liberals got everybody thinking that it's poverty and lack of opportunity. And I guess that may be the case, but that's just not what I've seen, man. There's a criminal class. There's a certain um, type of guy that's been committing crimes all his life, <laughs> escalating and, you know, to, to more bigger crimes as he goes, gets older or whatever. These are just fucking criminals, man. They want to do this shit. If you give them an alternative, man, <laughs> this guy don't want to fucking sit in no truck all day and deliver packages. This guy wants to do this shit. Posted pictures of the suspect on its Facebook page, asking for the public's help identifying him. Investigators say a series of tips led them to 37-year-old Xavier Arturo, the man they say is seen on the video. Officials also identified the getaway driver as 26-year-old Jean Carasquillo Torres. Investigators say the pair hacked a plan for a home invasion where they would use zip ties to restrain the people inside the home while robbing them. Officials say the pair planned a second home invasion about an hour north in the city of Manchester. After executing a search warrant, investigators found more than a kilogram of fentanyl and, quote, items commonly used in the operation of a drug factory. Both suspects were arrested and now face multiple charges stemming from both the narcotics recovery. And our out on bond already. <laughs> Salute to Ash Will Fly. Sorry, we tried to trick you into being an African warlord. Oh, yeah, man. I'd be a great African warlord, man. I'd be ruthless, man. I'd be ruthless because I know that's the only thing. That's the only thing that y'all, some man, understand. Now I'd be so ruthless and goddamn cruel. My country would operate. I'd be, I'd be like the beacon of Africa. They'd be like. Africa is a shithole, but there's one bright spot in Africa. <laughs> Akanda. <laughs> the, the nation, the, the, the relatively young nation of Akanda. Is very low crime. Very efficient workforce. They're very productive. Man, I would be cruel, man. I need to lie or lie or hold you. If I was African warlord, man, I would be so fucking cruel. And I would have a, and I would have a, you know, I would, I would, I would know how to, you know, mix it up though. But man, boy, it would be. I would show gliders how to do that shit. Gliders would be taking notes. Gliders would be like, hmm. Interesting. I be I have gliders taking notes, man. <laughs> I be cruel as shit, man. <laughs> Salute to um Austin Double Court the third, man. Salute I you've raised my IQ by 20 points. <laughs> this 
the day rather than black instead appreciate you good brother yeah man i appreciate that man i'm thankful for that man that means a lot man oh man <laughs> abe the hunter says another episode of samazon <laughs> shaking my head yeah man Oh, yeah, Idi Amin, man. I've studied Idi Amin, man. Idi Amin was a psychopath. Do y'all know that Idi Amin, he actually tortured his political opponents himself. So you know how, like, a lot of dictators, they're, like, they're like kidnap their political opponents and their rivals or their people that are talking shit about them and have them sent to some place to get tortured? Idi Amin, he... He he would do it himself. He would have you. <laughs> he had a little room like on his compound where they would take his political opponent. And he would to do the torture. He I me mean, was psychopath. Man. <laughs> he wanted to do that shit personally. Covered and the attempted robbery. Both suspects are now being held on $250,000 bond. They're expected to appear in court next Wednesday. $250,000 bond, man. Uh, 